We're on your side with tonight's cover story, making old things new again. Once upon a time, North Carolina was a powerhouse in textile production. We're talking yarn, clothing, you name it. It was all made right here. But by the 1990s, things began to shift. And in 1994, the North American Free Trade Agreement was signed. Cheap labor shipped a lot of U.S. work, previous U.S. jobs, to other countries. The ripple effect was the closing of many textile mills in our area. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 textile jobs were lost in the state from 1997 to 2002. Another 70,000 were lost in the apparel industry during that same period. So we're talking about nearly 200,000 people thrown out of work. Now, one of the mills to close in the 90s was the Osage Mill in Bessemer City. That's in Gaston County. And it's been an eyesore in the city's downtown ever since then. But now, that old mill is getting new life. Check it out. Right now, Wind Development is transforming it into a multi-use building. They're bringing affordable apartments, retail, and commercial space to the heart of downtown Bessemer City. I talked to the city's mayor about the road to this new opportunity. So when you first got here, what was this place like? It was very active. It was still manufacturing. And uh, so I grew up in a textile village, and so it just looked normal to me. I mean, this is the way a town's supposed to look. When the domino started to fall for the textile industry in this region, how big of a blow was it? When that history part of it goes away. It's very, very sad for not the one, only the ones that work there, but everybody that lived around here because then everything started to kind of change downtown. The businesses were closing and uh, because there wasn't as many people coming uptown. You know, with the people that worked there, they shopped here. And uh, so when you're not working, and you don't shop. But to see action again, just kind of emotionally, what does that mean? It's hard to put into words because we're banking on this project making huge uh, additions to our downtown. This is going to occupy 50% of our footprint in downtown. Mm -hmm. And with it, we're looking for restaurants, retail businesses, uh, there's no end to what it's going to do. I'm trying to preserve some of that. Uh, Laura Manville works for Wind Development. She gave us an up-close look at the work now underway. So where are we here? This is the second level. Um, where we're standing is going to be apartments with a beautiful view of Bessemer City through these large historic windows. A lot of these had been bricked up uh, during um, the last couple of decades and we've opened them back up and it's uh, going to make a huge difference to the town to be able to see you know, a, a building that's alive and, and residents here living. There are places that would be closer to Charlotte, but you decided on Bessemer City. Why did that make sense? The mill, this mill is uh, incredible because it's right in the heart of downtown Bessemer City. So it has potential to make a huge economic impact on, uh, on the city. Um, you know, transforming not only people's lives through creating housing, but also spurring economic development in the rest of the town. What are the challenges of turning something that was a, a textile mill you know, into a living quarters for people? How hard is this? Well, you can see how big this structure is. Yeah. So uh, the, the structure is enormous. So getting an architect and a design team that really understands how to do these adaptive reuse projects is critical. We have a lot of extra space in this building. So we have really wide corridors. We have, uh, we're going to be installing some beautiful skylights to bring in natural light down to the ground level units. Um, so some of these design features um, take a special eye to, to sort of come together. Um, we're also going to be demolishing some of the non-historic parts of the mill in order to make it more of uh, a logical shape for residential development. Some of those things affordable for people too. You're going to try to keep it at a price point you know, that folks can afford it, right? Yes, actually this is uh, going to be 100% 
percent workforce affordable housing. The statistics show that uh, families tend to spend 50 percent or more of their income on housing costs in many parts of the country, um, especially in fast-growing areas like Charlotte and Gaston County. Um, the apartments here will be priced so that people are paying, you know, 30 percent or less of their income uh, towards that housing cost. That leaves more room for savings, mm -hmm. for, you know, um, educational opportunities for their children, all sorts of things that people who are paying more would not be able to, to afford. What kind of reaction have you gotten since the announcement, since the groundbreaking? Everyone here in this community has been so welcoming and excited about this project. It's uh, been really wonderful as a developer to get that level of support. Um, people are already calling, asking uh, when they can lease an apartment. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're going to work hard to deliver um, the project by the end of 2024. Fascinating place to walk around out inside, and I'm sure some folks watching here say, hey, I worked in there, and now it's going to have new life again there in Bessemer City. Tell us your thoughts about the development. You can connect with us on Instagram and Twitter using the hashtag OYS Tonight. You can also scan the QR code on your screen there to get to our mobile menu where you can leave us a message. All right, turning back now to the weekend forecast. I'm here in the first